Everybody that's around a nigga, they be doing dirt on the low. Yeah, everybody that's around a nigga, they be doing dirt on the low. Yeah, everybody that's around a nigga, they be doing dirt on the low. Yeah, they know but they don't. Yeah, they know but they don't. What's up with the YouTube? So in this video, we're gonna be discussing how do you can get you an apartment without having any credit. So I'm gonna give y'all some game. If you don't have any credit, um, what you wanna do is you wanna get a self lender account, you wanna get an AVA account, AVA, and you wanna get a Grow Credit account. Grow Credit is basically like, they will give you a subscription credit. So like you can pay for like Netflix, Hulu, all of that with their credit card. It's a virtual credit card specifically for using it on subscriptions. And then you just pay back every month with them, right? So it'll show, I know Ava will show that you got a $2,500 credit line, which is phenomenal. You know, ain't nobody doing that. And it don't show that it's like a secure credit or nothing like that. It just showed that it's a $2,500 credit line on your credit report. So um, kickoff too, I always tell y'all to use kickoff. Any one of them is going to boost you up. Um, even if you don't have, so even if it's a new account, even if you don't have a whole lot of history with it, just having those accounts active on your credit report will boost your score because some, certain um, apartment complexes and management companies, they want you to have like a 620, 640 and up. So if you're in the 500s, adding those five would be perfect to boosting your score and getting you where you need to be so you can go get you an apartment um so when you go apply as long as you don't have any evictions and stuff like that you'll be good um people that got felonies and stuff like that i have heard like if you um like change your birthday or something change your birthday because felonies pop up with you um with them searching your address and public record with your birthday and stuff like that. So as long as you don't use the same address and the same birthday, you know, allegedly, I don't know. So if your birthday was like December the 4th and you put December 14th or something like that, then allegedly your, um, your, um, your felonies won't show up. So you can go get you an apartment. So that's the free sauce on what you got to do. Make sure when you um and, and a lot of people say well what about the id what about this what about that when you go when you go take your id to the apartment complex they not looking at your birth date and stuff they looking to see if the id is authentic and to see if the name match that's all that matters you know what i'm saying so don't think too much into it all you got to do is um put those primary accounts on there it's real cheap you know what i'm saying like i always tell y'all like it's cheap it's 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 as cheap as going to McDonald's and having a car full of people and buying everybody's food. It's as cheap as that. So um, just open up those accounts. You'll be able to go get you um, an apartment, a place to stay. Um, now, certain um, management companies, property management companies, they're using this thing called SNAP now. S-N-A-P-P-T. So SNAP is like, it can identify fraudulent documents. So if you don't work i think what some people do is like they just go get a job with somebody that they know and they have them to add them into their payroll you know whether they doing it on um any of the online payroll sites that way when you go on there and you got your login you can download the pdf so um with the snapped they just want to make sure that it's an authentic pdf that ain't been altered because when it's in a pdf format they can look and see if the PDF been altered. So if you just download it straight from the website, from the company that you are on payroll with, that'll be the legitimate document to bypass the snapped. Um, scanned documents, it can tell if it's scanned. It can tell if you printed it to PDF. It can tell all of that shit. Like it's like up to date. Like it ain't no way you can just, hey, can you give me some check stubs and you give it to snapped. Snapped ain't going for that. You know what I'm saying? So you have to actually be on payroll. You know what I'm saying? I'm not telling you to go do some um some bullshit and get on somebody's payroll, but if you know somebody who can give you a job um and put put you on their payroll, a small company or anything, start your own company, put yourself on payroll, use those software. That way you got legitimate source of where your income is coming from. It's documented, it's a legitimate pdf format straight from the actual 
uh, payroll site. That's all you have to do. Uh, and you'll be able to have your verification documents for income to get approved for the apartment. Um, a lot of people, they don't really be tripping on you um, not having like a whole lot of credit. As long as you don't owe nobody and as long as you don't got felonies, you good. You know what I'm saying? So uh, allegedly that's the way you could do it with the felonies. And then um, as long as you don't owe like another property or nothing like that, a lot of y'all ain't never really had an apartment in your name. So you shouldn't owe nobody. So you will be good. If you do have evictions or stuff like that, that you need removed before you can go get you a place, you know, I got the um, credit repair business, so we can get all of that type of stuff removed. Evictions, um, repossessions, all type all type of stuff like that. It, that's, it ain't no issue to get that removed. Some people fight with us a little bit harder to get it off, but we get it off. So that's what you got to do, baby. If you want to get you some, um, some, the hell is that? That's what you got to do if you want to get you a legitimate um, place to stay, somewhere comfortable. You ain't got to be worried about uh, roaches, rats, um, dirty neighbors, uh, just all type of crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I know me, I don't go for that. You know what I'm saying? The crib, every the, flood, the toilet got to flush hot power. You know, it got to be clean, cycle everything. The shower, everything got to be comfortable, spacious. The living room got to be spacious. The room... Um, my neighbors got to be quiet. The, the the walls got to be thick to where I can't hear them. They can't hear me. Um, the ceiling, the floor, everything. It can't squeak when I walk. I can't. I don't want to hear nobody above me. I'm talking about like it got to be a solid foundation. That's why I normally go for high rise apartments. You know what I'm saying? Something that got like concrete steps in the middle of each unit on each floor. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't, I don't go for that. I grew up in the ghetto. I grew up on the dime block. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I grew up in that environment. So when I got the taste of, um, living in something different and then damn near paying the same price, I'm like, what? Well, no, I wouldn't say the same price, but let's just say like, if you moving to a, if you move, if you don't want to stay in the projects, the ghetto anyway, you're going to spend a little bit over a thousand dollars for a one or two bedroom. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to move to um somewhere that's even nicer than that like where the white people be at um you're gonna spend like 15 1600 for a one bedroom i know in georgia that's what you're gonna spend texas places like that that's what you're gonna spend so you you gotta be prepared for that you know what i'm saying you just gotta suck it up because prices is going up and uh, also you gotta think about you know the location you're gonna be in for your kids what school they gonna go to what type of um what type of friends they gonna have you know what i'm saying what type of parents is, are they going to have? What type of influence is going to be around your kids? You got to think about the parks that you're going to frequent with your kids. Is it going to be shootings at the park? Is it going to be negativity? Is it going to be gangs? Is it going to be this? If you don't want your kids to grow up in that, you ain't going to have an issue with paying that. Also, you want to think about the stores you're going to frequent the most. Okay, Walmart right here. Let me go check out this Walmart, see what type of people in here. Let me see what type of people come to this Target. Let me see what type of people come to this corner store the most to get gas. You know, all of that, all of that factor, all of that factors into how much you're going to be paying a month. It's not just your unit. It's your surroundings. It's your neighbors. It's your comfortability. It's everything. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to accidentally leave your car running and come out and it's gone. You know what I'm saying? So you want to make sure you paying to not have those type of people around you because those type of people ain't paying that. You know what I'm saying? Thieves and shit like that, they not spending $2,000 a month to live over here. If they did, they wouldn't be stealing. You know what I'm saying? So you got to think about all of that whenever you making your decision for your spot. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just giving you a little free game. That's how you get you an apartment. Man, I ain't going to make this video too long. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. All my new subscribers, welcome to the family, Team Tizzle. Um, if you if you been a part of Team Tizzle, I appreciate y'all for being a part of the family and supporting my channel, liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, all of that shit, man. I really appreciate y'all because without y'all, YouTube wouldn't become um, my main focus. You know what I'm saying? I'm past 10,000 subscribers. We on the road to 20K and then above and beyond after that. So I appreciate all y'all tapping in. I'm going to keep giving y'all free game. Y'all tapped in with me. I'm tapped in with you. I hope all of this work out for y'all. I hope everybody's situation get better. Um, if y'all got any questions, you can hit me up, man. And um, if you want me to go into depth, you know, it's a little small FaceTime that we can do or whatever. But 
anything outside of that, you know, I'm going to give y'all all the free game. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I fuck with y'all for fucking with me. Y'all don't even know how I feel, man. Like, just knowing that y'all watch my YouTube videos and y'all fuck with me. Like, even some of the videos that don't do as many views, it's still the important people who search in these videos. So every view that I see matters to me. No matter how big or small the view is, everybody who's watching is specifically searching these things. So that's all that matter to me. I appreciate y'all. Um, I'm signing off. We sip champagne when we going out. Just celebrating brotherhood. They think we showing out. Huh? We didn't know it, but we know it now. To keep our money in our circle and I throw it out.